Hello folks, my name is Hamza. I'm the CEO here at Phoenix Industries. So my goal today is to give you guys a little tour of the facility, show you guys how we do things here. Welcome to our home here at Phoenix Industries. So what you're looking at is the front office, the operational team. This is a mix of sales, marketing, logistics, finance, administrative, HR, uh, customer support, purchasing, planning. This is the group that makes it all happen. And in the offices are the executives that run all those unique teams. Um, we have our fancy dinosaur and Robocop as well. So I'll show you guys around here and give you a little um, up close look. Most of the marketing folks are helping with this whole live presentation, but this is Team M. They work hard every day uh, focusing on all the different content that we make. We have our new catalog up there. We've been working hard on this catalog for almost six months now. Some products you guys have noticed, some products that are going to be launched later this year as well, including our metal speaker, beacons, under mirror puck, our torch, pole light as well. So really cool catalog guys, super excited about it. What's up guys, Levi? Hey, how's it going? You guys think we can uh, interrupt real quick? Sure. Some of the engineers, Levi? You're an engineer today? <laughs> <laughs> Marth and uh, Kyle, you guys work on anything cool here today? Uh, just testing out some under mirrors. Um, we got first articles in, so we're getting ready to get those going. When, when is the under mirror gonna actually go, go live in production and, and ready for distribution? Do you guys know? I'm not totally sure the date, but it's uh, really close. Nice. Um, we have first articles from uh, CMs. Awesome. And uh, everything's looking really good. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Kyle, you're gonna do a little demo of the AI bar for us later today? Yep, a little later today. Awesome, cool. Thanks guys, is Garrett and Avery here? Uh, they are, they're around somewhere. Awesome, we'll, we'll pop by. Okay. Thanks guys. Yep. Uh, the sales team is right here. This is the group that runs all 12 of them. Uh, they support the dealer network um, and all different types of customers, but primarily the dealers and distributors. Um, a little fancy video room. A lot of videos have been recorded there. Juan's our onboarding director. All new applicants and distribution go through him. He goes through the interview process. Juan, looking good, man. Boss man, Garrett. Garrett, do you have anything cool you're working on that you can show us? Uh, right now, I'm just kind of finishing up the Forex dashlight. Nice. Production, so just getting the assembly revisions right. So. Cool, cool, cool. And that's the metal frame? That will be. Did that glass-filled nylon model come in? Uh, it should be showing up this week. Really? So we're trying to decide whether we're going to go with a glass-filled nylon base or a aluminum base, right? Correct. Pretty much. So, still, uh, when do you think that's actually going to be available? You think? Uh, we should be finalizing this week, so I'd say the Adding. next two, three months. From manufacturing to. Yep. Once engineering is done with a product, you always have to add two to three months of the manufacturing process, because then Steve and his team take it over. They buy all the parts and components and have to go through that entire process. It's a long process, so, but looking good. Thanks, guys. Miss Avery, software engineer. What's up, Avery? Hi, what you working on, code? I'm working on sending software and data like packets. Nice. For the new F1 controller? Yes, yep. Awesome. I see you cleared out your desk. I did. Because you knew we were coming through. You're, hi well, you're hiding that uh, F1 controller I am. from us? I'm hiding it. All right, cool. <laughs> Boss man Steve, VP of Manufacturing. Hey guys. Looking good, man. Looking good. You mind if we go, go through? Go see your world. This is gonna be great. Cool. Our fancy server room and uh, computer rendering. It's about a thousand core render farm here. All the fancy videos and stuff we do. Uh, Bill. Hell, <laughs> what's up, man? Good to see you. <laughs> Everyone's all hiding. To, they don't want to be on camera. So every single thing in our facility is built to order. When an order comes in through distribution. Uh, we build that out. So whether it's a full-size light bar or a single head dash light, every single thing is just in time. Um, built and programmed based on the configuration. So no matter what that combination is, the assembly is done, we program it and build it out. But I'm gonna show you how the process works from the very end here. So we do different things from box build assemblies to um, single light head modules. We can start right here. Every single part is designed by the engineering team down to the washer and the screw. It's then manufactured and then assembled. Looking good, Nora. 
Every one of our light heads gets a vent that allows it to breathe and expand and contract whenever it gets hot and cold in the thermal cycles. That way no moisture builds up into the module and if it does, it airs out over time. So every single light head uh, from our wide lux, our apparatus line, lighting lines, to our full-size light bar and single headlights. Every one of them gets this vent. It takes a lot of pressure and stress away from the gas, from the actual perimeter and the gasket itself. Cool, thanks Evelyn. Every single FSM Fusion surface mount unit has a built-in microprocessor that runs all the flash patterns. So we program every single unit with a built-in firmware. This is the T3, one of our really popular lighting lines. Almost every one of our modules is sealed with these screws. These are plastisol screws. They have a gasket around the perimeter of them that supports up to about 300 PSI of pressure. So no, um, no moisture will actually enter from the screws themselves. And if any air buildup or pressure builds up again, you have that vent that actually uh, seals it. Thank you. This is the Canon hideaway driver. Once the system is sealed shut, we then apply, apply a epoxy that actually covers the entire electronics, ensures that it doesn't get damaged or corroded due to salt or water. Senior, you're working on the 4200 Mini, a very popular product. We sell several thousands of these a month. So a lot of, a lot of do you guys already, are you assembling more of these today? Or just the last batch of it? What are you guys up to back here? Ms. Paula? You guys doing fine? More quality tests? What are you chest what are you looking for? This is before we actually pot and seal it completely. Keep it up as well. Every single order is built whenever it comes into our facility and we pull from actually sub-assembly parts. So we keep all mechanical parts in stock, all circuit boards, wire harnesses, all that, several millions of dollars of inventory. And then when those orders come in, we build out the final, the final product. So it's really cool. Um, even the AI bar. John is our fancy AI light bar builder. What's up, John? How's it going? What's happening, man? Good, good. What is this, 50 inch? Uh, yeah, 50 inch. 52 inch. How is it coming? Oh, good. Just testing out the lights, to make sure everything works, the dimming and the motion. How long does it take you to put one of these bad boys together? Uh, between like an hour and a half to two hours, from LEDs to closing. Got it. And you build it out when the order comes in? Yes, sir. Pretty much. Cool, 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 cool. All right, man. Keep at it. Box builds get a manufactured and assembled, tested. Um, this is the hammer line, and at the end we have our Titan 30 watt siren. So whenever the final many, this was probably built earlier this morning, and then the box team is going to come through here and actually box it up. We try to keep non-customizable products like speakers and sirens and stuff um, semi-stocked. That way we're able to ship them relatively quickly to distribution. So whenever the orders come in, we try to get them out same day if we can. Our Canon Hideaway again is a popular product. This is the inline driver. So what we got going on here? Um, adding gasket seals. So uh, on this area right here, yep. they, they add the final, the smaller parts and then later goes to soldering or no, are you guys also? He's soldering right now. Oh, he's soldering it as well. Yeah. So we got huge orders, so everybody soldering can work. 3,000? 4,000. 4,000. 4,000 order of hideaways. That's pretty awesome. You guys are staying busy here. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, so Looking good, brother. 4,000 hideaways. Who orders 4,000? Having to maintain almost 30,000 different parts for our, our sub-assemblies and final products, it's a pretty extensive process. So there's an entire inventory team who manages this entire piece because of 
light bar with about 400 parts will, I mean a single washer and screw will, feed, will freeze that entire production line. So having to make sure everything from the very expensive parts down to a simple washer is in stock, always and managed. Looking good. What's up, Avio? That's that team. Every single hide or every single module is sealed in the back where the wire exit is. We use a really fancy uh, epoxy called E30. And it took us years to figure out the type of material that's used to actually seal both the circuit board, the metal, and the actual wire gasket itself. The type of material that bonds, and then the type of material that bonds well during thermal cycling. And um, actually is something that we can use in, in the daily manufacturing process. So this was a very long time and a lot of research and development went into figuring this piece out. But it's good. No water will ever enter the back of that module through that wire exit, I can tell you guys that. A lot of stuff is built to order, but again, if it's non-customizable, we'll keep that on the shelf as well. If we walk through some of the testing that we do, lighting product, um, the single light heads are plugged in and tested. We purchase almost four to five million LEDs a year. And if it's a single LED on a, on a hideaway, that I mean, usually if one LED goes out, the entire screen will go out. So that'll cause the vehicle to have to go into maintenance and it's a bunch of headache for a single LED um, and for our distribution as well. So a lot of work, but we test everything. We catch those failures on a daily basis. We pull them out. We rebuild it, plug it back in. Wide Luxes are available in all color combinations, white, amber, red, blue. Do we do green, Wide Luxes? We do, awesome. But it's custom ordered, right? Custom, right? Four cannons, there's some green, some green surface mounts. Logistics team ramps up roughly by about midday. Um, when manufacturing reaches its point, usually around three or four o'clock, that's when they go into full swing, pull everything off the test bed um, that's running. They go through their final test process, box it and ship it out the door. So usually at around six o'clock, you can't move through this area, but there's a little bit more breathing room as well. Boss man Jose over there. Good, light bars, nicely sealed, so they don't get scratched up. You'd be surprised how many, how many products can get scratched up, so adding that, adding that film around there is very helpful. There's roughly about 110 people total in this facility. A lot of notes of what people wish to accomplish. And here on the right side are our 2020 goals. Every single person jots. We, we set a goal as a company, what we're trying to accomplish as an organization, but every single person jots down what they're looking for and what they're trying to accomplish. Phoenix is an incredible company with a lot of incredible people. There's a lot of passion that, that drives this organization, a lot of youthfulness as well. Um, we work hard, but we also have a lot of fun in what we do. So it's just it's really a good group, of, good group of folks. And then our fancy gym back here. What's up guys? Kyle, how's Hello. it going man? Oh, hey <laughs> you could have put heavier weight on there. Oh, he was spotting me, you know, that was, was rep 200. All right, good, yeah. good, good, looking good, Whew. looking good. So this is our gym. Kyle, genius electrical engineer. How's it going y'all? You wanna go look at the F-150? Look at some lights. And the FOB line, awesome. This guy right here, um, our organizational chart. Shows how the entire company is spread, the executive team that manages all the different departments. It's really cool, we constantly update it. So we'll check out the F-150 here really quick. Mini light bar fusion, this is an amber white combination. So again, modules when they're built, they're tested, and then also, um, and then they're also burn in, and then they're tested as well. All right, so inside, 4200 controller, the uh, Typhoon, full function with the integrated uh, siren and then the Typhoon handheld right there as well. You have our rocker panels at the bottom. This is the, I don't know if the camera quality catches it. You can see our surface mount here on the fender, mounted. 
our hood mounts. We follow a bracket methodology, which means we'll manufacture the module and then provide a host of brackets, whether it's recessed or flush mounted or hood mounted, rotating bracket, double mounted bra brackets. It just makes the ordering process a lot easier. Can hideaways can be flush mounted as well. This is mounted on a Satina push bumper. They have our cutouts for our modules. And on there are two Triton speakers and our new metal 100 watt speaker. We've been working on this design for just a little under a year, um, getting the right type of powder coating finished to ensure it doesn't corrode. And then the seal around that actual uh, driver took quite some time. But that will be available three months, three months time frame. Cool, cool, cool. Our interior light bar, that's our fusion module. And obviously our wide looks, our six by four line. Uh, the wide looks does a host of things from just flashing. It also functions as a tail light, a turn light. It can function as a work light. Um, it all depends on the way you program it. Every single unit can do either, either option. And it spreads the light 180 degrees, so you have great visibility all around the module versus a lot of other lighting systems that just focus light head on. So when mounting on the side of a vehicle, you want that wide visibility as much as you possibly can. Technically, when mounting it anywhere in the vehicle, you want wide visibility. So we have the Fusion Aero board and then the Geo light stick up top. And they come with four different or three different uh, mounts, a hood mount, a permanent mount, a headache rack mount as well. This is the hood with the gutter clip that actually goes on it. All of them are vehicle specific, so just when ordering that bar, make sure you specify the vehicle it's going on. It's a common mistake a lot of folks make when buying it. So again, when the configurations come in, we pull the frame, assemble the modules, program it. We are probably the fastest light bar manufacturing company in the industry. We turn them pretty quickly. Thanks, Bobby. We offer the 49 inch and the 60 inch configuration, two different, two different sizes. So you saw the company, saw the operations. We'll do a few more of these, but at least it gives you a little bit of a glimpse as to what we do here at Phoenix. It's a good group of folks. This is just the beginning for us. We have a lot of ambitious goals in place in this company. Um, but if you guys are ever in the Austin area, this is an open invitation for you guys to come in and visit us, check it out. And we'll do, we'll do what other uh, Facebook Live presentations too and a bunch of other ones. Yep, cool, cool. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you appreciate it. We'll post this on YouTube in other areas so other folks can see it. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care.